Imagine this. You ask two AI models the same complex question, but one of them gets it right faster and cleaner than the other. Today, we're putting NVIDIA's Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70B in the spotlight to see if it really lives up to the hype. Can it dethrone GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet? Let's find out. If you've been keeping up with the latest tech, you know NVIDIA just launched their all-new Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70B, and it's already turning heads in the AI community. But with the release of every new comes the big question. Is it truly worth it? Can this AI outperform the giants like GPT-4? or Claude. Stick with me, because by the end of this video, we'll answer this question, and you'll know for sure if Nemetron is the real deal or just another overly hyped up release. NVIDIA dropped this model just recently, and right now, it's all anyone in the AI space is talking about, especially after the Reflection Llama 3.170B caused waves for its ability to fix its own mistakes. If you remember from my last video, Reflection 70B was impressive because it could reflect and correct errors. But here's the twist. Nemetron 70B is NVIDIA's bold step into a similar territory, because just like Reflect 70B, this new model from NVIDIA is also using reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, to get smarter with every interaction, breaking down the tech. All right, let's get into the technical side of things and simplify just how this model works. Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70B is actually built on Meta's Llama 3.1 Foundation, which is Meta's creation designed for a whopping 70 billion parameters. According to NVIDIA itself, this new model is designed specifically in a way that it makes AI responses much more specific and aligned with human preference than ever before, especially if we talk about factual correctness and problem solving, which makes Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70B your best friend when it comes to coding problems. It's been trained on more than a whopping 15 trillion tokens, including synthetic data that boosts its ability to reason and understand complex queries. But what truly sets this model apart from many other LLMs on the market is how NVIDIA is making use of RLHF. This essentially means that the model knows it can make mistakes, but it doesn't give up. It learns from its mistakes and from the feedback from humans and has the potential to correct itself before it answers your question, something that's truly transforming the AI world recently. This means, unlike a typical AI that just spews out the first answer, Nemetron actually thinks about whether its answer is the best one. My experience so far, I'll be honest with you guys, I was on the team that always thought NVIDIA should stick to making GPUs and leave LLMs to OpenAI or Anthropic, but with this new launch, I might have to rethink what team I'm on because Maybe they've already surpassed, not just Anthropic, but also OpenAI. I've been playing around with Nemetron 70B for a few days now, and one thing that stood out is how consistent it is. Like, I gave it a few coding challenges, similar to what I tested in the Reflection Llama, and this thing flew through them with impressive accuracy, better than I've seen in many of its competitors. In fact, it passed human evil benchmarks with a solid 81.7% pass rate, outperforming GPT-4 in some scenarios. Comparison to competitors, how does Nemetron stack up? Let's be real, GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 have set the bar sky high. But here's where Nemetron gets interesting. According to NVIDIA's benchmarks, it scored 85 on the LMSYS Arena hard test, while GPT-4 was clocking in at 79.3. So technically, Nemetron is pulling ahead in certain tasks. Also, when it comes to handling tricky questions like the famous strawberry question, you know, the one where you ask how many R's are in strawberry, Nemetron nailed it without needing extra prompts. That's something even GPT-4 struggles with. There's no doubt that Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70B stands out against its competitors in terms of its performance. But take a look at this table. It shows that Nemetron doesn't just lead in overall performance, but also excels in categories like chat and reasoning, which just proves that it's among one of the top tier language models out there. The pros and cons. Now let's not get carried away. There's no doubt that Nemetron 70B is amazing. I mean, we have to appreciate it for its ability to generate relevant responses, even without extensive prompts from our side. Also, the fact that it can produce a lot cleaner and more efficient code than many of its competitors is also worthy of an applause. But here's the deal. It's still a new technology, and just like any new technology, it does come with a few downsides. First off, it's a hardware monster. You need 280 gigabyte GPUs, or 840 gigabyte GPUs, just to run this thing. So unless you're sitting on a high-end setup, it's gonna be pretty tough to get this AI working at full capacity. However, it is available on Hugging Face though, and you can make use of some of its basic features. Also, while it's incredibly accurate in many different tasks, it still falls short in some areas where GPT-4 actually excels, especially tasks involving advanced reasoning. So yeah, as good as it is, I'm not saying it's entirely perfect, but it's definitely a pretty strong contender out there. My coding challenge. I gave Nemetron a real world coding problem something GPT-4 and Claude both took a few attempts to nail, and this thing got it right on the first try, and also provided a complete explanation, along with the code's time and space complexity. It was like the AI finally stopped overthinking and just went straight to the solution. For anyone who's been frustrated by AI hallucinations in the past, you'll appreciate this. Now, if you've been on Reddit, you've probably seen the buzz around this model. Some users have been putting Nemetron 70B through its paces. Firstly, one user gave their candid thoughts by saying how they expected it to be just another NVIDIA model. 
that no one really gets impressed with, but the reality definitely shocked them. Another user appreciated the NVIDIA team for way faster updates than any other team lately, way better than what we've seen from OpenAI or Anthropic recently. We do have to agree and give appreciation where it's deserved, right? Another user mentioned that it was able to solve all their trick questions, right? Something a lot of other models still struggle with. It's safe to say the AI community is definitely impressed. Now, if you've watched my video on Reflection Llama 3.170B, you'll know how excited I was about its ability to fix its own mistakes. That feature was definitely groundbreaking, but what we have here isn't exactly the same. In fact, Nematron 70B takes a slightly different route. It doesn't focus on reflection, but rather on pure speed and accuracy. In fact, this user from Reddit said this model is basically the Reflection 70B we were all promised, and I honestly have to agree with it. Reflection Llama paused to assess, while Nematron just powers through with confidence. It's almost like they're two sides of the same coin. One's cautious and reflective the other's fast and decisive. Sure, they both think about their mistakes, but with the launch of Llama Nemetron, we see this happening with a lot higher speed and accuracy than ever before, which is what makes it a lot more hyped up than Reflection 70B. What's next for NVIDIA's AI? Looking ahead, NVIDIA seems to have a long game plan. Right now, we're only seeing the early phases of what could be a massive shift in AI. Think about it. If they continue refining models like Nemetron, we could see this technology enter industries like autonomous vehicles, healthcare, and even cybersecurity. In fact, NVIDIA has said themselves that while this is their biggest model yet, it doesn't have to stop here. In fact, there's still plenty of new ground for them to explore. And honestly, if you ask me, the possibilities are endless. Who knows? And it's not just what NVIDIA can do with this technology. Considering this new model is completely open source, there are also a lot of amazing opportunities of what the community can do using NVIDIA's groundwork. With the increased context length and multilinguality, the AI open source community has access to more advanced technologies than ever before. The AI world is changing so fast. I mean, we never know what might happen in just a few more years. NVIDIA might just become the forefront of not just AI hardware, but also AI software in just a couple more years. In fact, with this new launch, they've already taken their first step towards dominating the software space too. Is it better for coding? I found a great article on GetBind that dives into whether Nemetron is actually better for coding compared to GPT-4 and Claude 3.5. Don't worry, I'll get straight to the point. What's the verdict? Well, for code generation and debugging, Nemetron holds its own. It performed the best overall on RewardBench, with a score of 94.1, along with a strong performance in chat, safety, and most importantly, reasoning. Based on these scores, users are finding it faster and less prone to hallucinations, those annoying, completely wrong answers we've all dealt with at some point. But that's not all. This model is also great when it comes to the debugging of code. Here's the thing. Nemetron doesn't just write code. It can also improve on the code it generates or any code you provide it. Anyone in software development knows just how much of a pain the debugging process is. Well, that's why Nemetron could be a complete game changer. Challenges? Why Nemetron isn't perfect. Of course, nothing's perfect. Some developers noted on Reddit that while Nemetron shines in technical tasks, it still has moments where it flounders in conversational or creative responses. It's like, if you need tasks done with precision and accuracy, Nemetron can be your best friend. But if you need that extra creativity, or reasoning, the model is still struggling. In fact, that's one area where GPT-4, with its broader training data, might still have the upper hand. Of course, with time, LLMs are becoming better at reasoning, but even now, there's still a long way to go. So don't expect Nemetron to be the perfect intelligent brain. Which AI should you use? So after all that, I'm sure there's one question in everyone's minds. Which AI should you actually be using? Well, if you're working in coding, debugging, or technical fields, Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70B is probably your best bet. It's faster, it's more accurate, it's way less prone to errors as compared to GPT-4 or Claude. But here's the thing. If you need an AI that's more focused on creative tasks or creative conversation, you might want to stick with GPT-4 for now. Either way, NVIDIA has definitely brought their A-game with this release, and it's exciting to see where things are headed. All right, that's my deep dive into NVIDIA's Llama 3.1 Nemetron 70B. What do you think? Is this the future of AI, or are you still backing GPT-4? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more in-depth tech breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.